I just got tired of being bullied in school and I just started really going after it, trying to get real strong. Just concentrate. Pull in. Don't get your feet too wide. Tight. Keep your feet in. Okay. Jesse turned that desire to defend himself into so much more. And as he got stronger and stronger, he found he really didn't care about those bullies anymore and started focusing on something a lot bigger, a lot more important, a lot more challenging. He decided to become the best in the world. There you go. That's good. If you saw 18-year-old Jesse Jester walking down the street, you probably wouldn't even realize how strong he is. But wow, would you ever be wrong. What do you do to get ready? How much do you work out? We do cardio every day. So anywhere from six to seven times a week. What you get is three attempts. In my first attempt, I opened up with a new world record on my warm-up set. My second attempt, I went up 20 pounds and broke it again. Had his third attempt been successful, Possibly. he would have broken it again. It was called a hitch. I have a bad habit of lifting my knee up when I deadlift from an old trainer who taught me wrong. And so I had the weight real easy. I just didn't have the form. So if I had done that, we probably would have gone the 510, and I would have gone for that. His second lift was still a world record at 474 pounds. So you think you'd be elated, right? Well, you'd be wrong. How did that feel? Um, I was annoyed I didn't get the third lift. Well, that's okay. He still gets another chance. His gold medal won him the right to compete again next year in Great Britain. Just a few weeks after he broke that world record, we met with him and his trainer, Bobby Porter, in the gym here at Wichita State University. At this point, Jesse had been laying off, letting his body rest, so he wasn't sure how much he'd be able to lift for our cameras. Well, he certainly didn't need to be concerned. At this point, the bar has 475 pounds on it. Since Jesse only weighs 174, that's more than double his weight. Even without working out for a while, Jesse makes it look easy, doesn't he? Well, Jesse began working out just four years ago. At that time, he was 14. I kind of just figured out on my own that I really have good genetics for it. Good genetics, and the fact that he's surrounded by the perfect team he needs to get him to the top. Got it. That's it. Jesse's trainer, Bobby Ray Porter, definitely knows what he's talking about. This Derby resident is a champion in his own right. He's broken around 15 international records himself. One arm barbell swing where you throw it up and you hold it, uh, bench press, uh, deadlift, uh, there's a fireman's carry. And the list goes on and on. Eight of the 14 records he set back in 1986 still stand today. Bobby Ray and Jesse have been training together for about eight months now, and he came along just at the right time. Right now he's the youngest teenager ever in Kansas to set a world record. After working with Bobby Ray for just three months, Jesse broke his first world record, and he's been doing it ever since. I think, I think he's probably going to be probably one of the most unusual strength athletes of our kind. And I think he's probably going to be, uh, be able to break probably 10, 12 world records at least within the next five years. We've got a special kid on our hands, so as long as we handle him with care and we go meet to meet and, and, and we use our training sessions the way we, we're supposed to use them, there, there's the, the sky's the limit. The other part of his team is Jesse's mother, Deb Banshoff. Now, Deb is a therapist, which, as you'll see a little later in this story, is another important part that makes this team work. How did it feel, though, I mean, to a mother to see a child that was having problems and all of a sudden now is achieving something so great? To, to see him have some personal power and realize he had that, it just made me cry. You know, I was just so excited for him because it was hard to believe that he could lift that amount of weight and that he'd come so far. It was just kind of indescribable. Jesse agrees. He says he's not the same person anymore. How have you changed? What is the Jesse like before you start working out and what's he like now? I, I was, before I started working out, I was just very arrogant 
and really when you look at it you're very humbled by the weights because the bar always wins eventually there's something else that makes this story so special something that most people can't see on the outside you see what makes this feat even more amazing is the fact that jesse's overcome even more than his competitors to get where he is i have bipolar and that's been a real issue for me a lot of people have mental health issues and a lot of people use it as a crutch, saying that they can't do this because they have mental health issues. My message to them is, yeah, you can. I have several mental health issues, and I push past all of them. You can't let them get in your way. You can't let them stop you from living your life. Because God made us all different, and it's just one of the differences you have. It may make it a little harder for you, but it's worth It's worth it because you're that much stronger for it. If you do use it as a crutch, the world will be poor for it. Another thing that makes his accomplishment so impressive is the fact that this was his very first competition. Some people spend their entire lives preparing for something like this. It just feels real natural to me because it's more your mind than anything else in this. You can't tell yourself you're gonna fail or else you will. You can't even have that in your head or else you're not gonna get the lift. Lock it up. Lock it up. Now that you're so strong, does everybody ask you to move things? <laughs> um, my dad thinks I'm a workhorse. <laughs> so what began as a way to deal with childhood bullies ended up becoming an amazing journey. A journey that's given him some pretty impressive life goals, too. I was thinking I'd get a degree in athletic training and then dive into some sports nutrition, and I would start making my own powerlifting team when I get older. Who would have thought something this good could come out of a situation that seemed so bad? Had those bullies not been there, Jesse may never have found his calling, a love that changed the course of his life, and a dedication that's made him wise beyond his years. Well, like, Really, to be honest, nothing in life you've ever achieved was really without a struggle. And it's not worth fighting for if you don't have to fight for it. So what's he fighting for now? Jesse says his new goal is to break his own world record. We're thinking this will go 570. And after talking to him, I have no doubt he'll do it. Now I'm going to go home and do 5,000 push-ups, right? It's like an insane rush. It's just awesome. 